manuscript written by a slave has now been preserved in the Library of Congress. The Arabic language autobiography spent decades in private collections before the library acquired it in 2017. Now it has been digitized for the world to read. Born and raised in West Africa, Omar Ibn Said was 37 years old when he was kidnapped and taken to America as a slave in the 1800s. Before I came to the Christian country, my religion was the religion of Muhammad. His autobiography in his native language of Arabic is believed to be the only one of its kind, the original words of a Muslim American slave. Then there came to our place a large army who killed many men and took me and brought me to the great sea. His literacy and culture uh, completely goes against, abolishes, one might say annihilates the, the narrative that slaves were not capable of culture. In fact, they were persons with, uh, with distinct histories, abilities, culture, and background. And he was highly educated because in his autobiography, he speaks about spending 25 years studying and shipped off to South Carolina in a country he doesn't know, among people whose language he doesn't know. Ibn Zaid wrote he was sold to a, quote, small, weak, and wicked man called Johnson. After years of abuse, he fled, but was caught in North Carolina. He is then captured and brought to a jail cell, and he begins to write on the walls of his uh, jail cell in Arabic. Over time, Ibn Zaid converted to Christianity. In his 60s, he wrote his own story, but only in Arabic. It's written in Arabic, and so uh, his masters could not really uh, read it at all. They could not really influence its writing. And so it was really his exact words, unfiltered by the machinery of the editorship of uh, masters and, uh, and abolitionists, as other slave narratives were. Bias says erased countless narratives, including the fact that up to 20 percent of Africans enslaved in America were Muslim. Ibn Zaid, in fact, chose to open his autobiography with a verse from the Quran. The crux of this uh, Quranic chapter is that it's only God who has the possession and the ownership both of human beings and of things. And therefore, it seems to me a kind of a hidden text. What Omar is saying is that you guys have no right to own me here. The entire manuscript is now available online for a new generation to read Ibn Said's words for themselves.